preparing aid for a community that feels abandoned by the state. Alevis are a religious minority with a long history of persecution and discrimination in Turkey, including on President Erdogan's watch. In all the areas where help hasn't arrived, we noticed Alevis live there. People are asking us, is it because we are Alevi that help has not reached us yet? These past 21 years of Erdogan's rule condemned our people to lives of poverty and hunger. So all of our hopes are riding on the election. Optimism is in the air here because Erdogan's challenger for the presidency, Kemal Kilic Darolu, is himself an Alavi who's promised to build a more inclusive nation. Today, these Alavi families say they experience structural discrimination from school through to the workplace. Polls suggest Sunday's election will go down to the wire and the prospect of another Erdogan victory strikes fear into this community. The, uh, Worries about the future, fear. For me, this is what Erdogan represents. If an Alevi wins the presidency, it would be good for us. Maybe Kilic Durolu will hear our voices more and see us, because right now we are invisible. The outcome of the vote is far from certain, but a Kilic Durolu win would be historic, the first Alevi ever to hold Turkey's top job.